Today we're going to talk about the functions of mitosis, and the goal of this video is to describe the three primary functions of mitosis in eukaryotic organisms. So first, we need to talk about how organisms grow and develop through the process of mitosis. The picture will aid us here. So multicellular organisms begin as a single cell. That's what you see on the left here, a single cell. And this single cell uh, develops eventually into a complex organism, an adult human here, that's made of many cells, trillions of cells uh, to be exact. Now, there are two processes that must occur for new cells to be produced. So we started with only one cell, but by the end of this process, you have trillions of cells. So how is it that all these new cells are produced? These two things have to happen. First, there has to be the duplication or the copying of the cell's genetic material. That's the DNA. And this process of copying the genetic material is called DNA replication. So that's the first process that has to occur in order for new cells to be produced. But the second process is this. The cells have to be split. So that you start out with a parent cell, this one cell here, and it's going to split into two identical daughter cells. And that process of splitting into two identical daughter cells is called mitosis. So once that occurs, you would go from having just one cell to having two daughter cells. And then each one of those is going to split. And then each one of those is going to split. Uh, and eventually you'll end up with trillions of cells that way. Now, to say a bit more about this process, um, when an egg and a sperm join together in the process called fertilization, they produce a zygote. A zygote is just a fertilized egg. So that's what we have here. We have one zygote. This is a single cell. And it was just formed by the fertilization of an egg cell with a sperm cell. Okay, next, through the process of mitosis, that zygote begins to divide. And the size of the embryo, and an embryo here is the ball of cells that forms about four to five days after fertilization. The size of the embryo begins to increase as more cells are formed. And this early embryo contains about 100 cells. On we go. Once born, so that embryo is going to develop into a fetus. And when this fetus is born, we have a, a newborn baby here. Once born, mitosis continues to be important in the growth of an organism. So they're going to continue to uh, create new cells, and that's how they're growing. And this growth continues until they're fully mature in their adult form. Now, as adults, cell division still happens. Uh, it's not the case that the person continues to grow. Rather, cells get replaced, uh, specifically damaged cells uh, or old cells, get replaced by new cells. So at this stage in the process, uh, of the organism's life, they're, they're not necessarily continuing to grow, but mitosis is still happening and it's replacing old cells or damaged cells. One last thing here, every single cell in the adult's body has the exact same genetic material as that fertilized egg that we started with. Every cell has the exact same genetic material in it. Okay, so that's how organisms grow and develop through mitosis. Now let's finish up by talking about three purposes of myto myto uh, mitotic cell division. The first purpose is growth. So multicellular organisms, this is what I just laid out on the previous slide, multicellular organisms grow from a single fertilized egg into a mature organism. On the last slide, I was showing you how this happens in humans, but here's what it would look like in the case of a rat. You would still start with a single fertilized egg cell. It would develop into an embryo and eventually develop into a fully mature adult rat. 
Okay, now, um, humans and rats also consist of many cells, uh, several trillion cells in the mature form. Okay, so that's the first purpose of mitotic cell division. These cells are going to divide, and that's how organisms grow. Here's the second purpose, repair. So when cells get damaged uh, or become very old, they get replaced with new cells. So here you have uh, a hand that's been scraped. I bet you at some point this has happened to you. Um, either your knee or your hand, somewhere on your skin, you've been scraped before. And those are now damaged cells in that area. Now, eventually you'll notice your hand heals. It goes back to looking like there's not a scrape there. It looks like a normal hand now. The process where you replaced all the damaged cells with new healthy cells, that was achieved through mitosis. The cells around the wound divided, and eventually it filled in all of these damaged damage cells with new healthy cells. Okay, so that's repair. That's one of the purposes of mitotic cell division. Let's talk about the third one here, asexual reproduction. So this is contrasted with sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction involves some type of um, female gamete and male gamete, but asexual re reproduction doesn't involve those things. Uh, so in the case of humans, you would have an, an egg cell, that would be the female gamete, and then a sperm, that would be the male gamete. But asexual reproduction doesn't involve male or female gametes at all. Instead, um, there's just going to be a kind of budding or division happening. And I'll give you an example here. So some unicellular eukaryotes, such as yeasts, you might use yeast when you bake your bread, um, some unicellular eukaryotes like yeast and some multicellular organisms such as hydra, that's what's in this picture, reproduce asexually by mitotic division. So let me talk specifically about the hydra here. Um, this is an organism, a microscopic organism that lives in water. And in this image, you start with just one hydra. But notice there's a little bud uh, coming off of it. And that bud continues to grow until eventually you would have now two hydra, two fully formed hydra. That process where new cells are being formed and it's growing, that's achieved through uh, mitotic division. And notice this is a form of reproduction. You start with just one hydra and it reproduces and by the end you have two hydra. So this is achieved through asexual reproduction, uh, specifically mitotic division. Okay, so in this video, you saw how organisms grow and develop through mitotic cell division, and you've seen these three purposes of mitotic cell division. Growth was one, repair was one, and asexual reproduction was one.